Welcome back to Fallout 4 modded gameplay. Let's get away from that cow. So to be quiet so I can talk to y'all. I could shoot you if I wanted to. Where'd Audrey go? There she is. Uh, we traded in Nick for Audrey, and of course I equipped her so she does not have that ugly suit anymore. She actually has some armor. That gun is her default gun, so I'm going to let her keep it. That way I don't have to give her ammunition. We are set to do Audrey's mission. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off. I did a few minor things. Uh, I did a little bit of modifying to the power armor, the very first power armor we got. Some of the power armor I stole, something really interesting happened. All of the equipment that was on it disappeared, but the frame remained there and is no longer considered stolen. So I took that over to Red Rocket and I put that in the repair site because I can't build more repair sites. Not yet. <clears throat> Power armor, repair, crane, whatever the hell you want to call it. The cherry picker. Okay. 35 feet this way. Uh oh, that's different. We should be careful. Family reunions in my house tend to start with bullets and end with blood. Of course, in between there's arguments, dancing, and champagne. To be honest, I'm not sure which is more dangerous. They strip these guys of weapons, that's interesting. Since two. This is something brand new. This is fan made. There's money laying around on the grounds. Wow, they just lots of money. Cigars. That was my kind of guy. This is this was me. I'm eating a bowl of cereal. I got money laying around my lap. I was smoking a cigar, cuddling with the teddy bear, and I gave the teddy bear a cigar too. That's me. Um, where's the rest of that body? Okay. This is cold. Well, let's 
let's see. It appears this isn't Barnaby at all. In fact, it's my older brother, Arthur. Hard to be sure, given he's a ghoul, but I can tell by the eyes. They're incredibly pretentious. We should search the body for a hollow tape. The letter said the combination would be on that. That's why he insisted on hollow tapes. Even in death, Arthur found a way to get the last word. I loved that about him, as much as I despised everything else. <laughs> but I am sad that he's gone. He was family after all. Which means the infection I suffered in DC has yet to subside. Maybe you should find a doctor. I'm afraid modern medicine can't cure the disease you're carrying. Well, either that or the stim packs I've been using are defective. But I'm long past the days when I saw it as a sin. In any case, we need to find out who killed him and why. What do we do now? One thing we won't do is give up. If Arthur's dead, that means someone killed him. And that person had to have a motive. Granted, that list might be infinite, so it's best we start at the top. What do you think happened to him? If I had to venture a guess, I'd say this is Margaret's work. You can tell by the lasers and dead robots. And if Margaret's really alive, perhaps she'll want to work together. My sister would know this, of course. See if you can't find another clue somewhere. Hopefully with an address and directions. Hey. Drink this. You look a little parched. I found this old photo. Ah, I know the place in the picture. A pre-war cafe for dilettantes and socialites, and a post-war nightclub for hustlers and scabs. Old enough to feel safe, but new enough to be dangerous. That's my sister for you. One step ahead with two left feet. Well, we shouldn't keep her waiting. Let's go. Let's go. You heard the lady. Trying a new cigarillo, Al Capone Gold. Not bad. It started off kind of boring, but I'm almost done with it, and it's not bad. The 
it's smooth. It's tasty. I'm wondering if it's uh, just Al Capone uh, tobacco that's not flavored. Because they flavor their leaves. <coughs> it's hand rolled. They flavor the leaves. They wrap it in. With, uh, by soaking it in cognac for the sweets or rum for the Jamaican blades. Where is this speakeasy at? By the combat zone? We can handle that. Let's get this party rolling. Why aren't you doing survival mode? Eh. Eh. Survival mode don't interest me. I tried it. I mean, in theory, it should interest me, but it actually doesn't. I've had bad experiences with it. Besides, just the thought of having to run all over the damn place to actually save settlements when they're under attack doesn't sound like fun a bathroom So here you are. This bar was a nice choice. Maudlin, but nice all the same. <laughs> You'd be amazed how little this neighborhood has changed. The bombs may have dropped, but the dirt is still here. And you were never one to avoid getting your hands dirty. In fact, you're looking much better than Arthur these days. Looking's not as good as having, honey. It never is. I suppose the question is whether you want it all for yourself, or if you want to do this together. I do, actually. Then it's time you dropped this ruse. After all, you're far too nice to pass for my sister. You, on the other hand, with that disgruntled look, as if the world were too small and you had to slouch to fit inside it. That, I recognize. You're as perceptive as ever, Audrey. And still a huge bitch. Takes one to know one. Is this a new body? Well, new in the relative sense. I wasn't aware Sims came in vintage models. Why do you think I chose it? It helps sell the illusion. Not that I needed it. Arthur would never deign to make eye contact with the help. So, you've been working for him? Naturally. I let him collect the combination, then waited for my opportunity to take it. After all, our brother would never agree to working together. He'd call it surrendering to father's idealistic garbage. He also wouldn't trust either of us not to kill him. That too. In fact, I believe his favorite saying was, that isn't water under the bridge. Yes, I imagine it was something much thicker. And he was right, as it turns out. So, why not do the same to me? Because I've always liked you, Audrey. I couldn't stand to be around you, but that's not the same thing. And best of all, I know working together would piss our brother off to no end. All right. But if we're going to work together, my friend here is coming along. He's quite capable. Still don't trust me, do you? All right, fine. Your friend can come. The two of you can meet me at the old summer estate. It's time to find out once and for all what legacy father left us.
Off we go to the summer estate. <clears throat> <coughs> This one might be some walking. May not even be in this uh, area. They could really screw us up if it was Maine, Far Harbor, or if it's uh, Nuka World. Because we haven't touched Far Harbor yet. And Nuka World, I have never been to. Uh, and I haven't triggered either one of them, so there's also that problem. Hopefully it'll be in this uh, area, the Boston area. Boston. She's an heiress. She's old Boston money. Perfect accent. Like the howls from Gilligan's Island. Eh. Wait a minute. I'll open a beer. Eh. Okay. We're good to go. Which way are we going? Northeast. Uh oh. Oh, really? Well, that's different. Okay. Uh, the satellite array is still cleared, so let's just go straight to there. No. We'll do it safe. Should probably switch weapons. We can use the sniper weapon now. Since we are outside and no longer inside, or we will be. Margaret? Oh, okay. No. There we go. Let's go. And what do you mean she switched bodies? So what have you been up to, sister? Still shooting raiders for kicks? Yes, but not intentionally. Nowadays, they just force my hand. And you? Oh, the same old. Forever building the better mousetrap, as you like to call it. And have you caught many mice with this contraption of yours? I've caught enough. I believe we are set for 308, so we don't have to worry about ammo. Yeah, because we only had 114 rounds of Lapua. How did Barnaby die, anyway? Arthur assumed you killed him. He was dead before I even got the chance. Antoinette, on the other hand, is another story. The truth is, she gave me no choice. Eh, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. The girl killed herself. We all know she belonged in Parsons. Father just didn't have the heart to commit her. Kami. Kami, Joker, and Kami. I think the sights are off. A 
sneak on suspicion. That's interesting. I like science more in the abstract sense. The possibilities intrigue me. The math didn't. That didn't work. We gotta follow the road. Oops. We'll be fine. I promise you guys, we won't die. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, your machine is making that noise again. Yeah. Or perhaps you're like me and don't care. Hey, 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 hey. Of course I care.
Sorry. Look at this place. I'd cough, but I fear it might cause a dust storm. I want to catch something far enough away that I can test these sights out. That's the direction we gotta go, damn it. There's no options except to swim. That's an ugly option. in my ass. Where is our stem packs? There we go. Call, Gibson Point was popular with young people and deviants. To my alerts are only slightly less annoying. I like that. It was popular with the young people. To my alerts are only slightly less annoying. Oh, hell. What are we going to use? Oh hell. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's your fault. All right. Mutant hound again. Stick. Mutant hound chops. There we go. Back up to 100% health. Oh boy, how are we gonna do this, guys? I don't want to swim. Oh, those eggs.
go with the spoils. Alright. Let's take a look at the map. We gotta figure out how to get over there. We'll go up to this log. way. I haven't discovered it yet. Alright. We'll do this the hard way. No comments about the Brotherhood of Steel? why I came over here. Are we getting a shit shot out of us? Eating up all our mutant hound uh, chops. I got a text message. You have mail. I don't see where Gruel went. <coughs> Excuse me.
All right, we got to keep on going west so that we can swing north. We won't go this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go see what these assholes are. Getting better. Maybe it's mental. What? You calling me scared? Excuse me. Have you met the crew? Joker, he's the funny man. Kami, she don't say a word. Anchorage is the ghoul. You can guess where he did his tour. Um, <clears throat> I got one rule. I don't shoot women or children. I usually just stab him instead. <laughs> He's funny. Hey there. Damn this bum leg. How exactly did this happen? Well, it wasn't exactly my finest moment, I'll tell you that. In fact, I've been on the front lines for over 200 years and haven't gotten so much as a scratch. In the end, it wasn't gunners, raiders, or mutants that got me. It was a slick floor and a two-story drop. Maybe I can lend you a hand. Yeah. These idiots won't leave my side. No man left behind and all that crap. So, I need someone to go down to the robot clinic and pick me up some of those ghoul stims. You do that, and we'll be back to patrolling the Commonwealth in no time. What's the trouble? I took a fall the other day. My leg's been giving me problems ever since. Trouble is... Stim packs don't work for me. It always ends up trying to fix my skin instead of everything underneath. I need something different. Made for ghouls. We'll talk later. Sure, sure. Is that supposed to be Kami? Yeah, she's supposed to be in there. <clears throat> she isn't quite in there right, though. Okay, we'll do that later. Let's keep on heading west. Ghoul stim packs. Okay, I can handle that. So where did the ghoul do his tour? Interesting concept. Perhaps I'm going senile, but I thought I saw something. You did, baby love. Legendary, so we have to get it. <gasps> Power armor. You see it? Staggering hydrogen gun. Cool. Nice touch to put it on a Myrler, too. Oh, come on.
It's even got a fusion core. Fully charged, too. This one's got to be less on than the last one. Go back to sanctuary. Put this armor away. Ah. Then I guess we'll go to Greenleaf. Try this again. Great boys. Just another perfect day in sanctuary. I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very. It's good everything I imagined and more. I want to trade a few things. Thanks, where is Joe? Uh, okay, whatever. I don't remember inviting him. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. I'm happy Look you're at the feeling two of swell. Us here in Sanctuary. Eh? Prepared for the future. I think that may be new. Get rid of the ones that we know aren't new. We obviously got the better one. I just don't even like the look of that damn thing, to be honest. I like using synth armor, not for me, but for the settlers. I'm just weird like that, yo.
let's see if we need any of those. I'll tell you one thing we know we do need more mutant hound. Uh, Fungus, a flower, yeah, I know we shouldn't have put the cherry in here. Take a look at our inventory, our apparel. Our left arm would be better. What we got on our left arm? I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. The 25-25. Alright, let's go ahead and... Pocket it. Right leg. Holy shit. Okay, we have to upgrade that. Wrong button. I'm um, hoping we can put that thing right back to normal. No need in building more material. Materials. Burning through the raw materials. Okay, everything except for our head is at 60. And we still are overloaded. Got to be weapons. Does fifty percent more damage against Meyer Lurks and bugs. What 
is this H and K that we just got? G thirty six K. I don't see it. This is brand new, just like I thought it might. Just like I said, I would say thought it might be. But no, just like I said, it is brand new. Oh, uh, it's five five six. So. It's suppressed. I'm trying to decide what to leave behind. It's not too heavy. Excuse me. All right. Let's go through the Green Top Nursery. <sighs> ah. Defend Abernathy Farm. Well, looks like we got a delay. We have to fulfill our obligations as General Psycho in Hell. General Lone Wonder. I don't like Glory being calling herself the Angel of Death. <clears throat> That's, uh oh. Not too bad. Didn't even get hurt too bad. Blake? Thanks for your help fighting them off. Glad to help. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. You're welcome.
Gotcha. Alright, let's try this again now. Green Top Nursery. at day or at night those uglies will think twice before messing with us again yeah what you said nice I'm going the wrong way I need to go east thought I could squeeze through there. I guess I'm putting on some weight, all those mutant hound chops I've been eating. pick up the mission but we'll swing by close enough so that we can discover the area I heard something move. Be on your guard. Ha ha ha. Oh hell. Watch out! Barrels! That's not a barrel. How many of these bastards are there down there? The whole fleet is a 
Chinese Air Force. I would have tested out the sniper rifle on the Assaultron the sights, but with the way that Meyer lurk about kicked my ass, the last thing I need to do is, uh, uh oh, having a pissed off Assaultron right on me. That would be a short fight. The Assaultron is nothing to play with. Sights are just off. Careful, you might hit someone. Even See? worse, you might hit me. I've already done that. Sneaking suspicion, we aren't alone. Gotcha. think that got me? Come on now.
see, yeah, the sights just don't line up. That sucks. Come on now. Alright. Let's go. Killed enough random assholes. I guess they didn't want to talk. All right, time to eat. <sighs> Noodle cup and some mutt chops to put us right back up to a hundred, almost. on the road. Sorry about that. See? Like that one. This is getting, <coughs> excuse me, this mission is getting to be a pain in the ass. Time for a drink of beer. Oh, that's good stuff. The nectar of the gods, I'm telling you. Cigars. If I wouldn't smoke cigars and cigarillos, I'd be a lot more ornery than I am. Huh. Oh, I thought there would have been some mobs out here. another point to go to back to if we if something happens see anything down here yet. We're heading the right way? Yes, we are. He 
is not red. This could be a mistake. Curfew. By order of Provisional Governor Grant, a state of martial law has been declared. Under the terms of the Martial Law Act, Section 12.J, those refusing to comply with the curfew order are to be pacified. Repeat, will you comply? Let me through. I'm on important military business. Analyzing focal patterns. Confidence interval, 60%. Affirmative. You may pass. Okay. Attention! Attention all citizens! A mandatory curfew is in effect! Repeat! A mandatory curfew is in effect! Return to your homes and await further instructions! Attention. That's different. <clears throat> That's definitely something that they added with the mod. I like it. Damaged Gutsy that's missing two of his eyes. Well, that was easy enough. I didn't expect to catch him by surprise. Watch for those damn, uh, what the hell are they called? Vertibirds. They have a bad habit of falling on you when they get shot out of the sky. First time one falls on you, you be cussed. Because you dead.
Mark did it. Yeah, that he starved to death in there. What the hell? I don't have any criticals? don't see anything for that so we're gonna go over here to the church first so that we at least have a landmark Yeah, auto save to kick in. <clears throat> I'm not so worried about dying as I am worried about an error due to the fact that it's a mod. Uh, that's what I'm more worried about. All right, you're gonna be stubborn, so I'll save it this way. Here we go. Here we are, the old summer home. It's just as tacky as I remember it. Who cares? The terminal for the code's on the wall there. My number's 47. All right. I'll enter the full code now. What is it you think we'll find, anyway? I don't know. Gold, jewels, baseball cards. Could be anything. The old man was secretive. We must have had different fathers. The one I remember would go out of his way to tell you about his exploits. Only when he was drunk. That should do it. Shall we? You can't be serious. As you'll note, there are five rooms in this house, each with a self-contained test designed specifically for the five of you. Pass them all, and you unlock the main safe. Except there's only two of us here. Don't bother. It's a recording. It's a miracle this piece of scrap even functions after all this time. 
Now go forth, sirs and madams, and reap the rewards that can only come from working together. So, the entire house is a safe. I assume cracking our puzzles will be easy. The rest will take some ingenuity. We'll have to act like our siblings. Or, even worse, think like them. I'll leave that to you and your friend. You were always mocking everyone's mannerisms. Nice. Perhaps that might pay off here. Well, I assume the kitchen will be Barnaby's. He was a fine chef. God only knows why he chose to have his servants cook for him instead. Arthur's text will likely be the stage room. He always enjoyed a good play. Antoinette's, I assume, will be in her bedroom. Something violent, I presume. Mine likely involves some sort of robotics or science experiment, so I'll head over to the lab. We can meet up when we're done. Yes, my dear. Okay, let's do the kitchen test. Upstairs. <clears throat> Who the hell put the kitchen upstairs? Test one. Baking. Barnaby, if you would please make fun. Father's favorite meal. Ah, I believe that would be squirrel stew. It's a joke, really. Barnaby called father a squirrely man, and cooked it for him without ever telling him the contents. I never really knew if father liked the stew or not, or if he knew what Barnaby was up to. I suppose in the end, he didn't care. He just wanted to spend time with his son. But, enough sentiment. The recipe should be here somewhere. Some ingredients might no longer exist, as well as some measurements. So we can't be sure the wasteland recipe is the same. The original recipe might have included tomatoes and potatoes. A hybrid of that would work, but half a potato and half a tomato aren't one of either. Let's just use our No, that doesn't seem to be right. Hopefully the Mr. Handy hasn't noticed we made the wrong stew. Please proceed to the next phase. If I'm not mistaken, I think one cup is eight ounces, and there's 16 ounces in every bottle of water. The original recipe might have included tomatoes and... of that work but half a potato and half a tomato aren't one of either
What is it, my dear? Maybe throw in some bourbon. Can't go wrong with bourbon. This is getting aggravating. Alright. It said four things of water. Again, try it with one bottle of water. Three bottles of water. Four bottles of water. All right, let's start over again. One bottle of water and eight. This is getting aggravating. All right, let's do this. Uh, to do do inventory, miscellaneous. Squirrel stew recipe. Where the hell is this thing at? Maybe it's under recipe. There it is. All right. Diced carrot. Four tomatoes, four potatoes, four cups of water. There's more options down here. Add vodka. I like it. Damn it. I see what the problem is. Start over. Congratulations, Barnaby. You passed your portion of the test. Please proceed to the next phase. Arthur's test. 
The show starts when you step on the stage. Mm hmm. All right. So, what will this test be? I'd assume it'd be the Bard, or something from that time period. For this test, you will need to perform the play, The Silver Shroud. Of course. It would have to be a comic book. Arthur memorized them all because he knew it would bother me to no end. Unfortunately, I'll need you to read the lines, darling. I couldn't possibly do it justice. Don't worry. If you get stuck, just spout out the most incomprehensible nonsense you can think of, and you'll be fine. Please proceed to the next phase. Oh, man. I don't want to put on the Silver Shroud costume. Excuse me. What do you want, stranger? Can't you say I'm busy selling drugs to kids? Peddling poison to kids, are we? You have taken your last life, villain. I don't think so. I can poison as many children as I want and no one can stop me. Because in Boston, the mob owns the police. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. But today, you face the Silver Shroud! Ah, the Dark Dick himself. I thought you'd be taller. And if you think someone as short as yourself can stop me, then you're as foolish as the human who designed that getup. Heh <laughs> fuck you. I like it. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. Ah, but there's another thing standing between you and justice. This helpless child, Timmy. And if you want to punish me, you'll have to kill him to do it. For I've taken him hostage. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven. And you shall fall before me. We'll see about that. I am the instrument of justice, and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Congratulations, Arthur. You passed your portion of the test. <coughs> Please proceed to the next phase. It looks like that did the trick. And just in the nick of time. Any longer and I would have shot you myself. <laughs> I like her attitude. Proceed to the next phase. Jammed. A cozy little hideout like this might fetch quite the price on the open market. It might. Oh, hell. Antoinette had anger issues. She reminds me of a feral ghoul. Or rather, ghouls remind me of her. If you're ready to start the test, press the button on the wall there.
your Geiger counter seems to have lost its mind, which means we have to work quickly. We'll have to think like my sister. Destroy everything in the room and see if that stops it. listening. Congratulations, Antoinette. You've passed your portion of the test. Please proceed to the next phase. That's all the tests. Let's see how Margaret's doing. that ammunition. Why would there be a lit cigar down here? There are three things I hate in this world. Westerns being one, monsters being the other. And science fiction, I hate that most of all. Somehow, I managed to find myself in a world of all three. I really am a lucky girl. I don't see her. Well, I hope these ladies didn't cause you too much trouble. They're not ladies. They're machines. And I'm sure disabling them was as simple as pressing 300 buttons. At least that much. Not that you'd understand anyway. Regardless, it looks like all that's left is your room. I can't wait to see what horrors await inside. Don't worry, Margaret. I doubt it's anything I haven't seen. Ready. Not that you are paying attention. Let's go. I still get the feeling we're going to be betrayed by the sister. This place isn't easy on the eyes, but it's safe. Oh no, I think it's kind of nice. What's this? A room with a holotape? I just had to disable three assaultrons before they ripped me to shreds, and this is all that's waiting for you? I'm all ears. For the past 40 years, I have watched my five children do nothing but squabble and fight. Yet, perhaps the fault is mine for failing to teach them the value of family. However, now, well, this is new. Typically, dying, when you're in a conversation, it, it helps if you respond. For them and for me. Over the past decade, while seeking to prolong my life, I have discovered something far more valuable than wealth and fortune. Yet despite all its promises, I will not, cannot give this gift to my children. Not as they are now. Audrey. You've always had a gift with words, so this is your test. Make peace with your siblings, and help them make peace with each other. Watch over them through good times and bad, for this is only the first step in a long and arduous journey. But if you make that journey together, I believe the five of you can strip immortality of its curse. Apart will find it a fate worse than death. Sir, the doctors are ready. In a minute. <coughs> I guess it's time.
Clearly, I was so impressed with my wit. You've passed I your portion of the speechless. test. The door to the safe is open. I suppose that's that then. Should we listen to the hollow tape? Let's just go. Anything made for you, I have no interest in exposing myself to. I think the father failed. So, would you like to do the honors? You've got to be kidding me. All this work for a single vial? Let's not jump to conclusions. Father was nothing if not a predictable man. This vial is a special serum developed by a friend of your father's. Contained inside are the secrets of immortality itself. Immortality? <laughs> well, this is a fine joke. You don't say. I suspected the prize was worthless, but it's even worse than that. It's ironic. I am sorry to interrupt your joyous celebration, but I must inform you that I have now fulfilled my duties as guardian of your father's estate. Good luck to all of you. Well, I suppose it's not a total loss. I'll take that vial, thank you very much. Really, Margaret? It's a serum that grants you immortality. It might as well be a state-of-the-art television for all the good it'll do. It may not be worth anything to us, but it's worth something to somebody. Which makes it a valuable commodity all the same. Ah, so you did more than disable those assaultrons. You programmed them. There really was no need. If I wanted to kill you, Margaret, I assure you, my friend over here could. You're all talk, you know that? It's funny. Arthur said you were street smart. That you were the one person who couldn't be swayed by sentiment. And in the end, you just gave me your half of the combination. You'll find I've given you much, much more. That is, if you ever bother to look. Huh. Goodbye, sister. Don't spend it all in one century. That was gruesome. Did I give the go-ahead to kill her? I don't remember winking. It might just have been something in my eye. Hey. Just say the word. Hey. Well, that was gruesome. Did I give the go-ahead to kill her? I don't remember winking. It might just have been something in my eye. It had to be done. It was them or us. <coughs> Margaret would agree. She was always thinking in binary. She couldn't see that it could have been both. As for the prize, it appears that Margaret missed the boat entirely. The real value was in my father's words. Immortality doesn't have to be dreadful, provided you spend it in good company. But perhaps that's me growing soft again. Luckily, you're here to teach me to shoot first and apologize later. In fact, I think traveling with you will be quite the education. Hopefully you feel the same. Huh? Fox hunting perk. What? A new perk? Sweet! A new perk. Let's see what the perk does. Whoa! Nice! 10% more action points in bats and 10% more damage with automatic weapons. 
That is totally sweet. Inventory. Obviously, we need to get rid of some of these rads. Almost. All right, let's get out of here. I'm afraid that I might have a negative reaction from her if I try to steal anything from the house. So we won't. Don't mind me, I'm stretching. I'm not growling at you. But I will growl at you if you pay me. Did he go there? Yes, he did. Okay. Wait a minute, let's decide on a mission here. Where's this at? show anything. Did that stick? Eagle Hill Medical Clinic in East Boston. Okay, so where's Eagle Hill Medical Clinic at? going to make it a little bit more challenging. We'll just leave that on in case we find it eventually. Look for a stash of chems in College Square. Nah. Ah. Let's do Boston After Dark.
We could do old guns. Yes, let's do old guns. And as soon as we land, I'm going to have to turn around. Use the restroom. That's me tapping the uh, armrest. Fort Independence is a good place to build an arm. Be right back. It's getting dark out there, people. Stay safe. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Are you ready to rock, children of the night? We only got one level here. My alerts certainly thought so, anyway. Alright. Uh, talk to Ron. What's our, uh, weight? 2.47? Yeah, we got plenty of room. Ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Uh-huh. Uh. Here I am. Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for updates. The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. Are you offering to rejoin? I guess I am. But first things first. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. Ronnie, can you go any faster? 7 p.m. here at Radio Freedom. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. This was the general.
general's quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Wow, lucky here. You've already cleared it. Good job. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. This will be a nice little quick mission. Uh, pretty dark down here. We better watch our step. If there ever was a place in need of a good maid. Cannonballs and cement. Nice. If there's one thing an army needs, it's a Oh, don't look at me like that. I can't always be as witty as I am charming. I suggest only taking what we need. There's so many corpses. Only so many pockets. Good argument. Quiet places are usually a veil for something more sinister. But why worry about the future? Psycho, nice. the commonwealth. Ah, darn it. Oh, it's been a long time. United we stand. Yeah, that was it. Ah. 
Ah, that explains all the landmines. This is, well, was, General McGann. He had your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. <laughs> There's no point in getting all sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through. It's in terminal. Oh, open security door. Perfect. Here we go. West Bastion, we have arrived. Sweet. Ah, okay. Here we are. Told you I'd get us in here. Now, let's see what kind of... Ooh, excuse me. Excellent. The armory's still intact. Everything we need. Just waiting for us. And the cream of the crop. Schematics for building artillery. I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. Unfortunately, we don't have any spare people to assign to the artillery. Just to talk to her more. Hey there. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built. Yeah. And assign. We only got two people here. Go get some more peoples. Hopefully we don't have anything that I would regret leaving here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go get someone. There's three people there. Nine people at Starlight Driving. <clears throat> Sorry, my hands bother. Send a couple people down there to the castle. I thought we turned off this radio.
castle. Nine beds, 46 water, 15 food. Let's build. Build laser? Ooh, I can't. Now, it's not going to be enough. We need to build a pylon. Power it up, see if we can make this work. Yes. What'd that do for our defenses? Oh, nice. 27. Sweet defenses right there. Go back, back to the castle, and take a nap. Wait for those people to arrive. It's gonna take them some time. now that means that the they'll start recruiting again the beacon I turned off the power because I didn't want to deal with the settlement becoming overcrowded
to 16 hours. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. <clears throat> it's probably not enough time. But we can hope. Kiesel, really? You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. Okay, now where did all these people start? You get the job of the artillery. I can find the damn thing. There it is. Got it. You get to be the doctor. Sure. To Guess they didn't arrive radio. yet. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Hey, Ronnie. Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Wrong one. I didn't grab it. There it is. Artillery smoke. Okay. All right, General, if you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area and we'll start the test fire. After I do some looting. Smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. 
Yeah, you know, just in case. Smoke on the water, baby. I'll have to try that. I've never tried that. Throw it in the water, see if it will still put up smoke. Fire for effect. I'm saying I'm too close, it won't trigger. Nice. Right on target. And she acts as a merchant. Of course, that means she will shoot if we are attacked. I'm going to use one of the new people as a merchant. You get a new job. We got eight food for eight people. Double check our stats. Let's go ahead and pick up some of this food and plant more. It seems to be growing well. Get some more people, we'll put them on the guard towers. What sort of weapons do we have in here? I know we got a couple lasers. That's it, really. Well, let's go talk to Preston and finish this mission up.
That way we will have two perks to use. And of course I went up to Sanctuary so we can take a nap first. Because there's no guarantee we we might trigger Preston as soon as we get right by him. If we don't trigger him, we'll take another nap so we get 15% instead of 10%. I wasn't expecting a perk from the new uh, companions. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. It's just past 10 p.m. Take care. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Show yourself, dear. 11 p.m. I don't know if Sanctuary there. Revival Project has really helped. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. That music is so annoying. I hope it's not a copyright strike. If it is, I'm gonna be pissed. Because it's so intricate to the game. to Radio Deep Freedom, leading, voice of the Minutemen. That was a deal, right? Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. There we go. Let's talk to him now. I've got to hand it to you, General. You really turned things around for the Minutemen. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minutemen had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha, that's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Minuteman means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Got it. All right, now we got two perks. Endurance and luck. This is Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. It's 1 a.m. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. That's very tempting. Wow, we haven't put anything in the pistol yet. Action boy. Oh, we can get the next level scrapper, though. All right, let's do endurance. And the next level scrapper. And the reason why I'm doing Scrapper is because I really do love the crafting aspects of the game. But with that, we're going to go ahead and call it a night, guys. I want to say that I'm 
appreciate all of you that take your this time to watch Freedom. these videos. Broadcasting all day, all Hope you enjoy the, the insanity that exists. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Damn radio. Hope you enjoy the sanity that is Fallout 4. Hope you like these mods. I love these mods. These mods are totally awesome. Please leave your comments, ideas, and observations down below. And until I see y'all again next time.